Hello everyone, so I hope the lighting isn't too effed up because the sunset is going on right now, right there, so I hope it's not too weird. But anyways, today I wanted to talk about writing again because I feel like I haven't filmed a writing video in ages. And I've recently uploaded some, but I actually filmed that ages ago, I just forgot about it. <laughs> but today I want to talk about one of my most favorite things ever, and that is characters. It is my most favorite part about reading books and writing books and movies and t-shows and everything. Just characters are what either kills the story or makes it absolutely wonderful in my case. Of course it's not the only thing that's important to me in books but it's the most important and I've observed some things that I like as a reader, I've observed some things that I like as a writer, and I just, I've observed some things that I think work, and of course you might have a different opinion, and I think that writing advice is always very subje subjective because it is art, and that's just always subjective, you know, but I just want to give you some tips on how to create main characters and just what I personally think works the best and stuff like that. And I'm gonna make another video on minor characters because I think that there are some differences. I just want to like share some tips on how to create characters that are just gonna be very, very developed and beautifully just human and everything. And I actually made a video on my other channel talking about how can you, how you can tell if your character is fully developed or something, so I'm gonna link that down below. But I've actually never shared any tips on how to actually create a character that is nicely developed, and so that's what I want to talk about, so let's talk about it. So tip number one, answer deep questions about them. By that, I mean just, you know, there's like a ton of lists on Pinterest of things like characteristics and the basic things like eye color and just like the way the character looks in general and then like their favorite color, their like the school they go to, the fam the kind of family they have, if they have siblings, if they don't, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. But I think what really creates a character is just asking yourself deep questions about them and just something that's really deep and that you yourself would have to think about to figure out like about yourself. And this is kind of I why I think this is super important is because deep questions are things that people don't regularly think about. It's something hidden deep inside, and what's hidden deep inside is what really develops the character, if you know what I mean, and what kind of questions, like, you know, it can be something simple that has a deep meaning. Like, for example, do they like the sun or the moon more? And this could be like the sun is just usually represents something super happy and energetic and it's just the person that like spreads positivity all the time, every single day, super hyper, super outgoing, that's what I imagine underneath it. And then the moon is just like calmer, quieter, but like mysterious, but at the same time just this like invisible light that always shows at the most unexpected times. And just like this, I don't know if it makes sense, but just ask yourself deep questions like this. like. Deep questions that you would have to think about yourself, like I said, and just questions that are kind of out of the box and just questions people don't normally, like, ask themselves. And if you figure out deep stuff like that about the characters, it's definitely gonna make sure that you get to know them much better, you get to just develop them much better, and then they become much more real with every question answered, and you'll get a better understanding of who they are. Number two is figure out their background, both physical and emotional. What they went through before the book, during and after. And this in the sense of like physical, like what happened in their life physically. And like for example, if, if someone in their family died or will die during the book or just if if they had like an illness or if something like just other than death happened in their childhood for example or just like their par parents are divorced if they only live with like a single parent and just all that stuff physically and then emotionally like what they went through during high school or just like before the book after the book during the book and like for example like if they went through some like just you know personal mental thinking or just like development and just change inside of them not only outside and just like if they changed as a person and all that stuff and just figure out their background where they come from how they feel about things and why and just figure out the history the present and the future and this is again gonna make sure that you know 
enough about their life because that's super important like knowing everything that happened before and during and after especially like plot wise i think this is really important plot wise because just you know this is something that will be slightly like revealed in like dialogues and the connections with people and just things like that and just the background is really important so make sure to work on that number three is who and what do who and what do they care about the most who and what do they love the most? I feel like love and caring about things and people is something that reveals and shows so much about a person. Like, are they someone to like love easily or not? Are they someone who just, you know, um, who's very, very trustworthy and loves just like everyone and everything? Or do they just love like one person and like one thing you know just this is something and not only that but like what to do they love it's like this is another thing that will really show you who the character is and love is something so deep hidden inside and so strong and powerful that really impacts our life and that is why you need to know it about the character because it's just really important and makes it like it will guide and transform the decisions the character makes like for example if their loved one is you know in trouble or something like how do they act and like just you know just it's really important to figure out who and what they love and not only to get to know them but also to just make sure you know what they would do in certain situations so like concerning their loved ones or something they love and stuff like that another thing very important what do they want and how it will how will it change during the book this is often like when it comes to the main main character this is something that a lot of writers say is like the biggest the most important thing like someone has said something like what does the character want and how can you like keep them from getting it and this is something that is incredibly important for the plot and even more important than for the development of the character because it's just like you need to know what they want what they want to fight for what they're willing to fight for and what they want but are not willing to fight for and just like what is the thing that they that keeps them going the thing that are just they would never give up the thing that they always keep in mind and what just like guides and changes their decisions and that is infinitely important and make sure you know this next tip is what are their priorities i think priorities say a lot about people and so just figure that out and doesn't have to be anything like complicated think about what priorities you have and like the groups of things that you can prioritize like i would say social life activities you like to do then school or work and then like people you love which is kind of social life but you know and just maybe I forgot about something but just these things and what do they care about the most is it like a person who care like is their number one priority people they love or activities they love or school or work and this is I feel like something that really shows what kind of the person the character is and I feel like my glasses are reflecting the stupid light so much right now in this video but sorry about that <laughs> anyways um i feel like this just shows again so much about the character and it's just really important for their development so make sure you know that about them and the last thing is figure out their personality type and by that i mean the i don't know the name but there's a there's a website called 16 personalities and you can do a test on what kind of a person you are if you're wondering and want to know I'm super into this stuff and I've done the, the test like a bajillion times and I remember doing this like three years ago for my characters and this is I feel like really like hardcore and it will take you a lot of time but at the same time will really help you with creating the characters and I'm not saying like create a character only based on the thing that one personality type has you can mix some together and stuff but i feel like looking through this website will really help you because it will show you all kinds of people all kinds of people who have different kinds of strengths and weaknesses and if you don't know what the heck i'm talking about it's just a website where just the psychological thing just divides people into 16 like groups and that is depending on it has like four categories one is either you're introverted or extroverted second is e either intuitive or 
intuitive or s something i forgot what it, what that is just it's intuitive meaning you just you know intuitive or something like based on experience i i forgot the name of it third one is thinking or feeling and the last one is judging or perspecting judging meaning like very organized and all that stuff and a planner and stuff and then the perspecting is like super like just all about improvising and just like YOLO and not planning anything and stuff like that and I feel like all of that really like determines the personality and everything and like seriously this will help you so much and with every personality there's like this super in-depth like description of what the person is like and like what they prefer like their relationships strengths and weaknesses and everything I feel like if you go through this site and ask yourself like what kind of a person the character is will help you immensely Immensely and you'll have like the most developed characters ever and I don't know like this I, I think that like most characters do, most writers don't do this but I'm definitely I actually don't really do this but uh, now that I'm talking about it I really want to do it so yeah that will be it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it and now that I got to talking I really want to film the, the other video as well so I'm probably gonna go do that anyways you don't need to know that so I'm gonna shut up now, I feel like this video has been pretty long, but I just adore characters. If you have any questions or requests, leave them down below in the comments, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll shut up now, and yeah, have a brilliant day, and see you soon with another video. Bye!